Video 4, Applying the Drive Constraint. First thing we'll do is flush the rear of the train to the end of the track. Constraint. Flush. Rear of the train to the end of the track. Now in my browser bar, for that final flush, I'm going to right click Drive Constraint. In the Drive Constraint, what it's going to allow me to do is to select the start point, which is zero, and ending point, which is approximately 10 inches. I'm going to change my step size to 0.1 to have a slower drive. Once this is selected, hit play, and the train should drive down the track.